Hey guys, we're on the phone, Red Moto. Today we're gonna to be doing a 2012 CT200H front bumper removal, but we're gonna install a different one. We're gonna do a 2015 Lexus CT200H front bumper, but not just a regular one, we're gonna go with the S-Sport. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel. Turn on that push notification and hit that like button. At the end of the video, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down below. We'll answer the, all those questions for you. Got this hybrid right here. Alright, so we're going to change out that front bumper right there. And do a walk around. It's going to be the regular version. But once we convert it to 2015 F-Sport, we're going to take a look at how aggressive it looks afterwards. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is going to go to the bottom and we're going to remove those screws and I'll show you how those screws look like. There should be around six to eight of them. Alright guys, you don't have to lift up the car but just for video purposes, the bolts are gonna be right there, right there. Basically, right there, right there, and on the other side of this bumper. But I'll go ahead and show you guys that. So get yourself a 10 millimeter socket right here with a, with a ratchet set. they look like this and there's like six of them so one two three four five six all right so we're gonna move over to the side right here we're gonna take off the bolt right underneath the uh, bumper or the fender so if you guys go to this bumper right here there's gonna be clips like right here So if you guys go right here on the side of the bumper, you'll see like these clips right here. There was something that was in here, like a little prong or like a little uh, pin. Uh, this one was broken, so, but for the most part, all you do is get a flathead to uh, take that off right here. So once you guys get that fender liner to the side, there's that bolt right there that I was mentioning. I'm just gonna go ahead and get that uh, 10 millimeter right there. that 10 millimeter right there but there's a clip right here so what you guys just push down a little bit Let's see so maybe a flathead would do it Let's get a flathead and then this clip right here should come right off so basically just wedge that flathead and pry down on it and it should come right off. We're going to do that on the other side. So on the other side right here, same thing you guys did. Go ahead and uh, take those pins off of the fender liner and push the fender liner to the side. But with this one right here, the customs missing one because of the accident. It kind of tore it apart. But remember, it's like one of these, it's a 10 millimeter like this. Take it off and then with a flathead, Go ahead and uh, take this one off too, okay? All right, so now we're gonna pop open the hood right here. We're gonna have some pins or push pins all around the uh, top of the bumper. So we're gonna go ahead and take that off. You guys get a flathead this will make it a lot easier 
so basically if you see right here those those push pins right there uh down here this one's missing one but up here right here right there right there and up there so basically all around on the top side of this cover right here so get a fly head on the pins you can actually push down well actually no you can't nope so you actually get wedge it in so basically you go ahead and uh wedge it in between here and pry up and it should come right off Actually, this one does come, I guess like some of them are different. Some you have to put the, uh, the screwdriver in between or some you can just push down like this and then it comes off. So basically you just go ahead and push down on it. So it's roughly one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of these uh, push pins like this. You go ahead and take off the cover. All right, so now that the cover's off, there's these pins right here. You're gonna go ahead and uh, use a flathead. You're gonna push those up on it and take it off. And there's a push pin right here also. Then you're gonna have a 10 millimeter bolt right there, a 10 millimeter bolt right there, and then also the same push pins over there. So let me show you guys how to do that. Start off with this one right here. So basically that's what it looks like. So when it's depressed like this, just go right here in the middle and then pry up on it and it'll come off. Same thing on this one. Same thing on the other side. So you got these bolts right here and bolts right here, right in the middle. There's two of them. Let's get a 10 millimeter and take those right off. All right, now that the bumper and all those uh, push pins and bolts are taken off, we're gonna start off on one side. I'm gonna start off over here and pull, and then I'm gonna guide it down because I'm gonna need to take off the uh, fog light um, harness. Light it out. Thank you for watching our 2011 to 2013 Lexus CT200H front bumper removal. Stay tuned to our next video. We're going to show you how to convert this to the F Sport front bumper. It looks more aggressive, it looks a lot better in our opinion. If this helped you out, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next video. Thank you.